Hello friends and welcome to another episode of Team Jesus Outdoors. Hey guys, I just want to give a huge shout out and say a giant thank you to all of you that have for so long supported Team Jesus Outdoors and to our brand new subscribers. Friends, we have just pushed Team Jesus Outdoors over the 3,000 subscriber mark, and that's because you guys rock. I can't tell you how much I'm, I appreciate you guys, and I'm thankful for your support. Friends, today I've got for you just a real quick Detroit River ramp tour. There are, there are about eight or nine ramps up and down the 27 miles of the Detroit River that are open to the public, and I personally regularly use about a half a dozen of those ramps. The reason that I believe that this is important information is because I believe that being a better fisherman is all about efficiency. We as anglers will catch more fish when we become more efficient. Friends, there's only so many hours in a day and most of us only have so many days a year that we can spend on the water. So by being more efficient with our time on the water, we have the ability to catch more fish throughout the year. I'm gonna point out to you guys and highlight some of my favorite ramps that I believe are ramps that help me to be more efficient with my time on the water. Hey, the first ramp I wanna to talk to you about is the Alter Road ramp. Now, as you guys can see, this is a, this is a pretty small ramp. It's a pretty small facility. It's actually, I find it pretty unusual that the ramp is closed today because generally this is the ramp that's open when a lot of other ramps are not open. The Alter Road ramp is open later into the year than most other ramps. Generally you will find this ramp open right up until, right up until uh, the canals lock up with ice. The Alter Road ramp does not get a tremendous amount of traffic, so there's usually not huge lines to wade in. Some of the negative things about this ramp is, as I mentioned, it's a pretty small facility. I would guess that it doesn't park more than 30 trailers. So for example, in December, when most of your ramps are closed, this ramp can fill up kind of quick. And maybe the biggest downside of the Alter Road ramp is that it dumps you into, it actually launches you into a canal, and you've got to run the canal system out to the Detroit River. The canal is pretty shallow and pretty narrow so you've got to be a little bit careful navigating the canal and it gets really really tricky if you pass another boat coming head-on. Probably the best thing about this ramp, this is the very northernmost ramp on the river. It dumps you into the river just below Windmill Point, just downstream of Windmill Point. So its geographic location is perfect if you're fishing the upper stretches of the Detroit River. Friends, the Alter Road boat ramp is located on Alter Road just south and east, about a mile south and east of Jefferson Avenue, right across the street from Detroit's Mariner Park. Friends, I want to take a quick second and thank our Patreon supporters. You guys are an incredible help to the ministry of Team Jesus Outdoors. You guys help make it possible for us to do what we do here at Team Jesus Outdoors. Friends, if you are interested in becoming a Patreon supporter of Team Jesus Outdoors, you can go to our YouTube homepage and you'll find a Patreon link at the upper right hand corner. Or you can also go to our, our website, Team Jesus Outdoors, teamjesusoutdoors.com. And at the top of the page there, you will also find a link to our Patreon account. Friends, the next ramp heading downstream in the river and one of my personal favorite ramps is the St. Jean Boat Launch. Friends, I love the St. Jean Boat Launch for its geographic location. It's actually a very nicely sized facility. Rarely ever do you have a backup at the ramp because there's, as you see, there's several lanes to launch. In years past, this ramp has sometimes been a little bit slow to open but the ramp is already open for the 2021 season. Uh, you, have to use your, you have to use your smartphone to pay at the ramp electronically. 
But friends, this is just a great ramp. The St. Jean's boat launch is conveniently located near the northern tip of Belle Isle. If you're fishing the upper one third of the Detroit River, this is a great ramp. Geographically speaking, you can get to the Belle Isle Bridge pretty quickly. You can get to St. Clair or, or the northern tip of Belle Isle very quickly. If you're fishing the northern stretches of the Detroit River, this is a very efficient ramp to use. I believe it's still only a $10 launch fee. And again, you rarely wait in line at this ramp. So friends, I really like the St. Jean boat launch. Friends, heading south from the St. Jean's boat launch, the next ramp down the river that I typically use is the Delray Park boat launch. Friends, one of my favorite ramps on the river is the Delray Park boat launch. It's located inside the city of Detroit, conveniently close to I-75, and this ramp puts you in the river darn near the center of the river. The Delray ramp dumps you in the river just south of the Ambassador Bridge. It's a great location, but unfortunately, this year it looks to be in really rough shape. Friends, right in the heart of the Downriver community are three boat ramps that are some of my favorite ramps. In the city of River Rouge, you've got the Bellinger Park boat ramp. In the city of Ecorse, you've got the municipal ramp. In the city of Wyandotte, you've got the municipal ramp. Hey, located just a few miles south of the Delray launch is another one of my favorite ramps along the Detroit River, and that's the Bellinger Park boat launch located in the city of River Rouge. This is a great ramp, and it's a great geographic location. I use this launch regularly. All three of these ramps put you in the river, in that mid-river area. So if you're if you're planning to fish anywhere in the mid-river area, these are perfectly located ramps. It's not a terribly long run if you want to go upriver. It's not a terribly long run if you want to go down in the Trenton Channel. I'm here right now at the Wyandotte Municipal Boat Ramp, and this is one of the most popular ramps on the river. On the weekends, this, this ramp can get pretty crazy. In fact, most April weekends, all three of these ramps get pretty crowded. In fact, here's a quick tip for you. Most people, when they're considering boat ramps along the Detroit River, a lot of guys do not think of the Lake Erie Metro Park. A lot of people kind of consider that a Lake Erie boat ramp. But the Lake Erie Metro Park is only located about a mile or a mile and a half from the mouth of the river. So in April, when the ramps are getting crazy, there's long lines to get in all the boat ramps. The Lake Erie Metro Park can be a great spot to launch and avoid some of the crowd. Gentlemen, I've been watching the river temps this week and I've been comparing that to some historical data that I've kept. On Monday, March 15th, the surface water temp reading at Belle Isle was 40 degrees. 40 degrees on March 15th is about a week or two earlier than usual. Now on Tuesday, that water temp slid back to 38. This morning it was showing 39. I've, I've talked to a couple of guys this morning that have said they've seen water temps hit 40 in some spots. But any way you look at it, the water temps are a little bit warmer than what's typical for this early in the season. Yet guys are still struggling to put limits in the boat. There's a lot of boats catching fish, but there's not a lot of boats with limits. I suspect that the fishing is going to be pretty terrific by the 1st of April. Hey guys, you know that I always say there are only two kinds of men in this world. There are men that need Jesus and there are men that need more of Jesus in their life. Friends, I pray that you would identify which of those you are. And I pray that you would take your next steps towards your faith in Jesus Christ this year. Hey guys, just to recap real quick, if you are planning to head out over the next couple of weeks, you may want to note that Alter Road is, the Alter Road ramp is not open right now. The Delray ramp is open, but it's in pretty rough shape. The Ecorse Municipal ramp is not open right now. And the Elizabeth Park ramp is also not open right now. So right now your ramp options are St. Jean's to the north, 
again Delray's there if Delray's there if you want to use it but it looks pretty rough to me but you got St. Jean's to the north you got Bellinger Park Wyandotte and if you're planning to fish further south you could always fish at the Lake Erie Metro Park hey guys one thing I noticed today it's going to make a significant impact in how guys are fishing today. Over the last couple of days, the water has gone from super clear to pretty murky. There's less than two foot visibility out here right now. And just a couple days ago, there was four or six foot of visibility. But that's kind of typical of the spring. It kind of changes from day to day. So, hey, but remember guys, on these murky days, go to those dark colored jigs and dark colored plastics. It's a whole lot easier for those fish to see that dark jig and dark plastic in this stained up water than it is for them to see those bright colors. Guys, God bless tight lines. We'll see you.